live at 64 Zoo Lane. And I have some very special neighbours. Look! There's one with a hump and one who can jump and one who is well a little bit plump. 64, 64, 64 Zoo Lane. Some like it hot and some like it chilly. Story of Thelma the Whale. What's going on? Donna the seagull has stopped by on his way home. Not everyone is pleased to see him. This is our tree. And you're not invited. Oh, oh, thank you, Nelson. Well, I'm pleased to see you, Gunner. <laughs> it's all right, Lucy. In fact, those monkeys remind me of a story. A story? Why didn't you say so? You can come and sit with us in the tree. <laughs> Monkeys will be monkeys. <laughs> Why don't you two come down to listen with Lucy? Come on, Giggles. Come on, Tickles. It was a beautiful sunny day at Morsi Bay. As usual, everyone was having fun. decided to go for a dip in the sea. Then... Oh! Sorry, Thelma. Didn't see you there. That's okay. What are you doing floating out here all by yourself? It's nothing, really. What's the matter, Thelma? You can tell me. It's just that you're all having so much fun over there and... No one's ever asked me to come and play at Mossy Bay. That's silly. I know. I'm just a daft old whale wanting to play on the beach. I mean, it's silly. You've never been invited to Mossy Bay. Jamie at once invited Thelma to play on the beach. <laughs> Be any other whales there? No, but the Sharon Puffin and Thomas Puffin and Lewis Puffin. Oh, and Hercule Mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Over here, Sharon. <laughs> Sharon? Look! Hello. What is this? Hello, everyone. Look who's here. Oh, uh, hi, Thelma. Uh, what are you doing this uh, close to the bay? Jamie invited me. He did? You can't bring a whale in here, Jamie. Mossy Bay is for puffins only. <clears throat> and walruses, of course. No offence, Thelma, but you're just too big. <sighs> but I invited her to come and play football. Of course. Thelma is very welcome to come and play with you, Jamie. 
Um, if you wouldn't mind moving just a little bit to the left. Oh, of course. How's she gonna play football? She's got no legs. She'll be perfect. <laughs> oh. <laughs> to start with, the football game went well, and others began to enjoy having Thelma to play. <gasps> oh. <gasps> oh, sorry. That's the second one she swallowed. Oh, now I have to make another one. A beautiful picture. Our football pitch. Are you okay, Selma? I think so. It's all right, everyone. No, it's not all right. Our football pitch is covered in whale. Don't be mean. Take no notice, Selma. No, Jamie. Sharon's right. I'd better go home. Huh? Oh. Oh. Hmm. You are totally stuck. We will have to wait for the high tide when the sea comes in. The waves will lift you out. How long will that be? Uh, we must wait all day, I think. No football all day. This is your fault, Thelma. I just wanted to join in, not mess everything up. Don't cry, Selma. Oh. It's not your fault. I spoiled everything. I, I'm just a clumsy old whale. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Can you do it again, Selma? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I know. Thelma's visit uh, has had uh, its uh, difficulties, but she is uh, our guest. She messed up our beach. And my very fine artwork, Sharon. But that does not mean we should be unkind. We must be uh, hospitable. Hospital? What? That means... Uh... We must make her feel at home. Yeah, that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow! That Please. looks great! Please, can we have a go? Of course. Hey, what about her cure? Uh, no, really, uh, I am fine right here. I, I don't think this is a, a good idea. Oh! Ah, this is fantastic! <laughs> oh. The puffins were having so much fun, they did not realize it was already late afternoon. <laughs> oh. Oh, the tide is coming in. It is time for Selma to go. Oh, can't she stay here? Please, Selma. Oh, thank you, Sharon. But Hercule is right. I need to get back home. Oh. First, she didn't want Selma here. Now, she doesn't want her to go. Oh. 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 oh! Push, then! Push! Oh! I'm still stuck! Oh. We must oh. all help! Go on! Oh. Push! Go on! Oh. Push! Just a little bit more! Oh. Here I go! Of 
course. Tomorrow, if you like. Hooray! Thelma the Whale was the best guest it had in many years. That was a great story! Come up here and tell some more. Yes, please. You can stay all night if you like. Oh, I'd love to, uh, but I've got to get back to the seaside. It's already really late and nearly... Bedtime. I know. Uh, I'll come back and tell another story soon. Yes, please, Gunner. Good night, everyone. Sweet dreams, Lucy. Patsy the Porcupine. Whee! Yeah! Hello, everyone. Yippee! Hi, you look very excited. I am. The fun fair is in town. on the merry-go-round and the little train with the smiley face. And best of all, I want to eat a yummy toffee apple. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one problem. Dad says I can only come to the fun fair if I tidy up my bedroom. And that will take forever. Surely it's not that bad, Lucy. There's loads of mess. And besides, it's a parent's job to tidy up, isn't it? Dad tidies up all the other rooms in the house, so why not my bedroom as well? <coughs> Nelson, what is the matter? I've got a terrible itch in my trunk. A story is coming up. <coughs> it was a beautiful morning on the savannah. Audrey the ostrich was busy collecting grass for her nest. Morning, Giggles. Morning, Tickles. Morning, Audrey. Hi, Georgie. Oh, hello there, Giggles, Tickles. Mmm, my favourite leaves. Mm. Mm. Hello, everyone. Mm. Oh, I know a far better technique. Stand back, please. Delicious. Oh, excuse me. None of us bothered to clean up the mess we'd made. Oh dear, oh 
dear. What a mess. <laughs> I'd better get started straight away. Patsy the Porcupine was the Savannah Sweeper. She liked everything to be nice and tidy. There. <laughs> Job well done. The ants will be happy. The ants were happy indeed. They loved eating the leaves and litter Patsy collected. And Patsy, well, she was happy too, of course. Yes, I think I might go for a walk in the hills today. Oh, haven't you heard? It might get rather windy later this afternoon. Really? Yes, the weaver bird said so. Patsy had nearly finished cleaning all of Africa. There was just one little corner left. Here I go. But she hadn't noticed the bumps. Oh. 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 Ouch! My foot. I can't move. What shall I do? Uh, help! 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 my dear, what's happened to you? I was rolling down the hill, and then I was sort of bouncing, and then falling, I suppose. Let's have a look at that foot of yours. Ouch! I think you've sprained your foot. You'll need a bandage. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Thank you, Audrey. Patsy, some of your quills are broken. Oh, no. I'll fetch some glue to stick your quills back together again. You just keep still, my dear. I'll be back in a jiffy. Then the wind arrived. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, who left these banana skins lying around? Not us. We don't even like bananas. That's not true. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Meanwhile, Audrey the ostrich had found what she was looking for. Ants? What are they doing here? Yes, you do like bananas. No, we don't. Yes, you do! No, we don't! Tell the truth, you do love bananas! <laughs> the ants were getting hungry without leaves from Patsy. Oh, 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 ants! Oh, go away! Ooh, they're everywhere! Oh. Oh, oh, what's happening? Why are the ants crawling up everything? And all these leaves. Uh, isn't it Patch's job to sweep them up? Where is Patchy anyway? Oh, probably having a nap somewhere under a bush. I say, it's a disgrace. Haven't you wondered what's happened to Patsy? Oh? You should be ashamed of yourselves. Poor Patsy has hurt her leg. That's why the savannah is messy. And all you can do is complain <laughs> and dance a few silly steps. Nelson, follow me. Mm. Um, maybe we should tidy up a bit. Rooms. Uh. One for each of us. <laughs> <laughs> Patsy the porcupine was still waiting. Oh, where's Audrey? Yoo-hoo! Patsy! Nelson here has come to help. Could you hold the glue for me, please? Uh, certainly. With uh, great pleasure, Audrey. <laughs> there. Good as new. 
Oh, thank you, Audrey. And thank you, Nelson. You'll have to take it easy for a while. If I can't do the sweeping, the savannah will get messier and messier. Don't worry, Patsy. Everything is under control. You'll see. <sighs> oh! Thank you so much, everyone. You have done such a brilliant job. Oh, it was fun. Besides, you're the one who deserves the biggest thank you. Thank you, Patsy. Hey, it seems that the ants want us to follow them. So we followed the ants. Zed was right. The ants had made a comfy chair just for Patsy. You can rest your foot on here. I'm so happy. Thank you all, my friends. And we decided that once Patsy was better, we would all sweep the savannah together. That was a brilliant story, Nelson. Did you like it, Lucy? Lucy? Where is she? <laughs> I think I know where Lucy's hiding. Oh! Oh. It was a lovely story, Nelson. It's just... I think I've been a bit silly. Maybe I should tidy up my room after all. We'll help you, Lucy, if you... Take us to the fun fair with you. <laughs> I don't think monkeys are allowed at the fun fair, but I promise I will bring back toffee apples for everyone. Yay! Time for bed, Lucy. Good night, everyone. <laughs>